I have always loved machines and mechanical engineering and when I was in my undergraduate study I did a thermal sciences concentration which is one of the nice things about UND they give you so many options to personalize your education and I was able to secure funding from uh, NASA uh, North Dakota Space Grant to study small channel flow anytime you can attach NASA to your name that's kind of fun moment and <laughs> It was really exciting. So we're getting a differential pressure, about a quarter PSI. Right now we're using a pump to push water through very small lines or channels. We like to see what the fluid particles see as it travels through a porous, a complex cavities, caves and things like that. Just kind of like an explorer going through a cave. What it could be used for is um, flowing it through uh, like, uh, for example, a uh, spacesuit. If you're trying to design something with very small channels with cooling, in space it's kind of extreme environments. We don't have the luxury of keeping uh, a constant temperature. The technology could also be used to study fuel cells and how to make them more efficient. It doesn't even have to be porous. We can try all kinds of different configurations. Different material, yep. plastics. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You spend a lot of time with your advisor and it's great to work with someone that you get along with so well. We treat our, our graduate student almost as a colleague, so we work together hand in hand and we like to get our hands dirty. When you graduate, you'll be drastically matured and well prepared to handle all sort of uh, uh, career opportunity out there. It's been a great experience and it's been very interesting work and it's never boring.